Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. So uh, this is um, countdown, four more episodes till 300. This is 297, so four more, right? Yeah, well, yeah, something like that. 97, 98, 99, so three and then 400. 300, we're not at 400 yet. All right, so um, as always, it's been the same for the past few episodes. Links right here on the lower third, okay? So hit them for Eventbrite if you're going to be in town and attending at Max's Wine Dive for episode 300 on April 28th. And then also we've got the Justin TV, Justin.TV uh, live feed going on. So if you're going to watch there, do that. Also, you can stop by the website and I'll have the links there in the description for the video. So um, I'm looking forward to this a lot. This is going to be epic or something. All right. So... Um, all right, so we're going to hop on to the next one. Now, I bought this one. Let me get my H-E-B. My H-E-B. Uh, who, who's who was it? Whatchamacallit thingy. Um, so this is the twosome, two and then some, uh, Chardonnay 2010 from California by Hess Select. Um, a little rinse action there to get the wonderful Riesling out of the glass. I don't want to pour on the white, on the white thing here. Um, so this is a, one of those again random selection bottles at the HEB, my local HEB, and uh, bought this for. Do 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 do. Where is this? Two some. It should be here. Or what? No. No manager servant. Oh, no, yeah. My goodness, I don't know where I bought this. I swear I bought this at uh, HEB. Maybe I bought it at Total Wine. No. Oh, wait a minute. There, we're, there's, I'm missing a wine on here. There should be one more. They only put five of the six. Oh, yeah. Well, it was under 10 bucks. I'll have to, when I, when I, it, it would have already been on the lower third how much I paid for it. Got an HEB. They charged me for two Procrastinate Sauvignon Blancs. And I guarantee you this was about the same price. That, that Procrastinate was $8.98. I'm sorry, $9.98 with the dollar discount because I bought six wines. That's why it, it looks confusing. Anyway. All right, so let's get on to this. So Hess Collection. So Hess. Hess has been around for a while. Um... They were founded in 1844 in Switzerland, and they weren't making wine back then. Um, their main business was beer, glorious beer, okay? Uh, that was their main business for 100 years. Now, Donald Hess, um, you know, uh, which I'm a descendant of the founder, uh, took over in the 60s at the age of 20 after his father passed away. So that's a pretty big deal, man. You got a big company, you're 20 years old, trying to you know, run it. Uh, he started a mineral water label called Valser Water, um, and that became, I think, like one of the top mineral waters in Switzerland. And in 1978, he purchased vineyards in the Mount Veeder AVA in California, uh, and he eventually expanded his winemaking empire to Australia, South Africa, and Argentina. And uh, they also have art collections in some of the wineries, so apparently he's also big into art collecting. So, uh, besides beer, art, and wine, I mean... Can't go wrong with that. So um, this is uh, one of those wines. I think it's kind of, I think this is just with HEB. Um, so if it is, because I, I don't remember seeing it anywhere else on the internet, um, then it is something, because yeah, I don't remember even seeing it on their website. But uh, it could be something where they go to they go to these retailers and say, hey, we got some wine. 
would you like to get we can put a label on it blah 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 and it'll be like they're like not like a house brand but it may not be you might be able to buy this one elsewhere now that i think about it i don't know anyway let's get into the wine it's under ten dollars chardonnay from california all right um get the white card again so yes yeah, that's a problem with this it's really i can't I mean, I need a little color in the background to see this because it looks really, really light. But when I hold it up to the light, it looks a lot more golden, almost, almost as gold as that. See, that really, see, if we get a little dark background to it, I can really kind of see the color. This is just too white. It's just these lights are so bright. Um, I think it's really just really difficult to see. But um, you can see there's kind of gold. I don't see any green in there. Um, I think it's really just my studio lighting is just kind of harsh on, especially white wines. Let's do that Israeli thing here. There you go. Ooh, kind of like rotten cantaloupe rind. So I had the cantaloupe rind from the Riesling. I know I was pointed over there. The cantaloupe line rind from the Riesling last episode, but this one sells like ripe, not necessarily rotten, but really, really ripe. Like to the point where it's like, man, you better eat this now because it's about to go bad. But yeah, I get the cantaloupe, more of a tropical fruit, maybe mango. Almost a little stinky which I wasn't expecting. Um, it might have been aged in wood, but I'm not really sure. But I don't get any major, major um, indicators of wood. Hmm. Hmm. This is pretty good. I mean, it's got this kind of a jumble of flavors going on here. There's a, like a little bit of honey to it, but not really. It's kind of like, it's really kind of like candy almost. Like a banana. More, more like banana. Like, oh man, I haven't had banana in, in a while in a long time. Kind of like those, those banana runts. So like really extracted, processed, chemical, I don't wanna say chemical makes it sound bad, but you know, fake, fake banana. Um, and those are really not my favorite runs, but they were, they were good to like get every, you know, with all the other runs you go, oh, okay. Um, you know, those, um, yeah. So it's not like eating a real banana because it's just more of the banana flavor. And, and definitely, I still get the cantaloupe. Still get the tropical fruit. There's a little bit of butteriness, butteriness to it. Um, some apple, but not a whole lot. You know, it really does kind of, I wouldn't call it buttered popcorn because I don't get the popcorn part, but it's a little buttery. So, so it's definitely had, has seen some wood at some point, but it's, I like it. And it's really weird because this style of Chardonnay, I typically would be like, it just tastes like every other old Chardonnay and the, the typical stereotypical, you know, oaked Chardonnay. But I don't know, I think, I think it's just because it has that, that one little bit of a, a different flavor and with the, uh, with the tropical fruit and that, that kind of banana uh, flavor to it. That's really intriguing and I, I really like it. Um, acidity, we even talked about the structure. Acidity is about medium. Um, it doesn't really have a long finish. Like it's pretty much gone and has been gone for a while. So it's not gonna, I mean, you're gonna get that initial like kind of wow factor and then it just kind of like, poof, kind of goes away. It almost says, you know, 
yeah, it just kind of disappears on you. So I, I think it's good and it's under 10 bucks for sure. Um, and it's, I think it's just a little different than some other Chardonnays. So, I mean, I, I would, yeah, if you're, if you're into Chardonnay, you want something slightly different, um, than the, than the, the run of the mill California Chardonnays that are in the same price range, yeah, go ahead and get it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to rush out and buy another bottle of it. Um, and honestly, I, don't, I almost never buy another bottle of any of the wines, even with the ones I'm like super impressed with, because that's most of my wine drinking is the wines I review. So I don't, except when I go on these long stretches, I'm not doing any reviews and I'm like itching, like I need wine. <laughs> so then I'll buy some wine, but, uh, drinking wine instead of review wine. But, um, yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, I had already had made my mind that I was going to drink that Riesling when I was editing all these shows. Now I kind of want to drink two of these bottles because I, I don't want to throw away all these all this wine. I have to bring it to Houston with me. The other two of the bottles from the last episode are still here, two weeks old in vacuum in, and they're probably not that good. All right, so uh, that's going to do it for this episode. If you see this wine, I know for sure it's an H-E-B if it's outside the Texas area. Um, check it out uh, by Hess. So they've been around for a while. And uh, yeah, check it out. As always, thank you for stopping by. Uh, click the links above to friend me up. Hit that donate button there to send me a few ducats for some wine. And uh, again, the links will be below uh, on the website to um, stop by Max's Wine Dive or to watch online. Uh, if you're my Facebook friend, it'll be, there's, a, there's an event in there too. If you're my Facebook friend, you got an invite. Okay, unless you friended me up in the in, since uh, beginning of March, middle of March, you might not have gotten an invite because I already sent all the invites. So, but you got you have an invite. Trust me, because I clicked every single person um, on there. So, uh, if you're able to show up, that would be outstanding. Um, and let's see, that's going to be it. We'll see everyone again next time.